Good morning, St. Mary's. I'm Elfie. And I'm Bronwyn. And today is holiday PJ day. We're glad you came in your most festive, comfy PJs today. At lunch, we will have a snowball fight or dodgeball in the gym. Don't forget to check in at your class table at break to earn spirit points for your class. And remember, tomorrow is Winter Wonderland Colors Day. Dress in red, blue, green, white, and black. And in Student Life News, it is a big special holiday spirit week happening here at St. Mary's, just in case the intro left you wondering. On Wednesday night is an event that was created right before the pandemic in December 2019 as a way of recognizing the many cultures and traditions of the season. Let's head over to Studio B and CCAT to tell us more. Hey Panthers, it's Cyrus. And Amelia. This Wednesday is the Festival of Life celebration from 6 to 7 by the stage area near the gym. There will be food, music, and light celebrating the many cultural traditions of the winter season, so please be sure to check it out. This is a free event, so feel free to bring your friends and family, and if you want to help plan or set up, then join us tomorrow in Ricardi's room during A Block. Thank you, and back to the announcements. And just a reminder, if you would like to help plan or set up, please join tomorrow in Ricardi's room, 323 Fridays at A Block. And thank you to all who participated in the gingerbread making competition and to all who voted. The results of our contest are in. Best overall gingerbread house goes to team without Calum, created by team members Max, Fiona, Carrie, and Calum. Our funniest house was by team winner winner chicken dinner, created by Jagger, Toby, Julia, and Ali. The most architecturally sound house was completed by team The Snowmen, created by Alexa, Alex, Joran, and Brooklyn. The house with the best theme slash story was by team Gingerbread Minions, created by Abby, Jehan, Eva, and Alex. Great job, everyone. Please stop by the front office to collect your prizes. And also great job, home rooms, on your amazing door decorations. They all looked amazing. Here are our winners. Our best overall room was 321's mantle and stockings with added music. Our first runner-up is room 226 with their handprint Christmas tree and face ornaments. Our second runner-up is 415's rustic reindeer and lotto ticket bribe that was pretty entertaining and environmentally friendly. We also want to give an honorable mention to room 222 St. Mary. It was impressive and really lovely and was created by Miss Fernandez and her seat lock. And hey Panthers, we will be selling Candy King Graham starting today at lunch for $1. Stop by to show someone you care about some love. And don't forget to check the lost and found in the main office. Any items unclaimed by the end of day Wednesday will be donated. And have you lost your student ID? You can order a replacement ID by putting your name on the list in the main office with Ms. Pallara. There is a $10 fee that will be billed later. The list will close at the end of the day today. Reminder that an ID is required for purchasing food on campus. And in counseling news, juniors, a very important reminder from your college counselors. You have until this Thursday, the 21st, to log and complete your junior survey and score. And now here's Sarah with your Panther Athletics. Over the weekend, there was action on the court and on the pitch. Women's varsity soccer beat Head Royce 1-0 to move 5-1 on the season. Women's basketball won two road games over the weekend, beating John Sweat and Ignacio Valley by an average of 20. And men's varsity split, losing a double overtime thriller to De Anza, but rebounded the following afternoon for a 75-48 win over Ames College Prep right here on Hagler Court. It's a light day for sports with boys soccer taking the pitch at Salesian. Both JV and varsity play at 3.30 and they have a 2.15 early dismissal. That's it for sports and now back to Elfie and Bronwyn. Thanks Sarah and a very happy birthday to Paul, Alexander, Simonson, Alexander, and Sanaya. We wish you happy birthday, we wish you happy birthday, we wish you happy birthday from all of us to you. In Global Adventures, we have two different types of chicken today, mustard and barbecue. There are also some corn dogs with fries, crispy potatoes, and more today at lunch over in Mache Cafe. And let's take a look at Friday's Winter Holiday Trivia Answers. Um, the first question, during Kwanzaa, which color candle symbolizes the future? And the answer was green. And the second one, in which ocean is Christmas Island found? It is the Indian Ocean. And the last question, in what country are you breaking the law if you don't attend church on Christmas Day? And the answer was B, Britain. I did not know that. Me neither. Well, only one home homeroom got all three answers right this time. Congratulations to Mr. Peterson's homeroom for being the first to answer all three of the questions correctly on Friday. Answering two of the three questions are Mr. Sutphin in second place, Ms. Tanlilio in third place, with runner-up Mr. Mesquita, Mr. Cole, and Ms. Mahoney. And as you can see, we have the updated standings after the first three rounds with two more to go. And now for the fourth round questions. Uh, 
Uh, question one, what country once had a female Santa called La Befena? A, Guatemala, B, Spain, C, Colombia, and D, Italy. Who sang about a blue Christmas in the 1950s? A, Elvis Presley, B, Frank Sinatra, C, Nat King Cole, or D, Michael Buble? And question three. In the 1964 classic movie, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, what is the name of the person who wanted to become a dentist? And we will leave up this slide for a few moments and have the results on Tuesday, tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow's dress up is Winter Wonderland colors. That is it for today. Have, have a, a great, great day, St. Mary's. Mary's.